Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I'm going to show you how to top off your diesel exhaust fluid, also known as DEF, on your Mercedes Sprinter here. And this is my 2018 Mercedes Sprinter that I got. It's actually an RV, and I'm absolutely loving it. And after purchasing it, I drove it a few hundred miles, and I started getting this message on the dash. And I'm going to show you guys what this is and how to go ahead and refill this fluid yourself so this is the message I'm getting here it says check diesel exhaust fluid and check the owner's manual so you're able to actually see the level of your exhaust uh, diesel fluid by using these steering wheel controls right here and as you can see I have less than a quarter tank that's why that message actually came on when I found out about it I went to a Walmart and I got that fluid and it was the least expensive fluid but I'm going to go ahead and try this out on my vehicle here and some people have actually complained about the quality of the DEF fluid and if you happen to purchase not the greatest quality DEF fluid and something happens please don't go down to some service department and pay three four hundred dollars for them to pump it out go ahead and siphon it so I'm going to pop the hood here and I've seen vehicles out there where the DEF fluid is going to be right here. Um, there will be another inlet right here. This diesel exhaust fluid is not going to go in the tank. It's going to go under the hood. I'm going to show you guys where this is located and what basic items you want to have around when you're doing it. This stuff is highly corrosive and you want to be very, very careful with it. So we're going to go ahead and pop the hood now. And the hood prop, in case you're not familiar with it, right where the Mercedes sign is, you're going to go ahead and push that in just like that. And when you push this up, that right there is going to engage and your hood is going to stay up. This is going to be your DEF fluid. It's going to be right in front of your cabin air filter. And then you got your coolant and your DEF fluid. So you want to go ahead and add it through here, but you want to do a couple of things before you do that. First thing is you want to have your DEF fluid, which I have here, and you want to have some sort of funnel. These two right here are going to work. When I was actually at Walmart that day, I bought this. This is not fit in there, so don't try a big funnel like this. And you want to get yourself some protective gloves like this, some paper towels if you have it, and some sort of nail or anything else. Because as I'm pouring this in here, I'm going to go ahead and make a hole in here. Because the hole that comes with this container here is very slow. So I basically have to hold this fluid upside down. And it starts gushing down the funnel here. And I don't want to go through this whole hassle again. So I'm going to make my job really easy by making a hole somewhere out here. And this is going to allow the air to replace the fluid that's going to be going into the vehicle. So let me go ahead and put my gloves on and show you how to finish this up. All right, so I got my gloves on. I removed the cap, put some paper towels around here just in case anything overflows or leaks. You do not want to let this fluid get anywhere near your vehicle. So I'm using the smaller funnel here just because it goes in a little bit deeper and sits a little bit better. So that's going to make it really easy and I'm not going to have to worry about this tipping over and making a big mess. And now I'm going to go ahead and make that hole. All right, hole is made. It went pretty deep in, so make sure that you got a pretty decent sized hole. And if you're not really sure, go ahead and make another. Just be extra cautious. All right, so I got my two holes made. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cap off here and apply the funnel here and this funnel here. As I actually tried this the first day at Walmart, I didn't know how big this container was. They didn't really mention this to me when I was purchasing it. So you want to make sure that if you're adding any of this stuff back in, that any of this hard substance, whatever this turns into, does not go back into the container. So that's added on here. And I'm going to go ahead and screw this in place. Get it nice and tight. And let's go ahead and add this to the reservoir here. And you want to make sure you take your time when you're doing this. And just go ahead and 
pour the contents into the reservoir here. And check that out guys. This was so much easier than using that hole that they had. Having the two holes in the back over here definitely made this a breeze. I was struggling with this and I could barely get even maybe one cord in and it was all over the place just because you're suspending almost 20 pounds, 30 pounds up in the air like that. So having those two holes in the back made this a breeze. So go ahead and remove this now. Alright, that's out of the way there. And you want to be very careful not to get this anywhere. So that's emptied out. I'm going to go ahead and remove my paper towels here and put the cap back on. So the DEF fluid cap is back on. Let's go check the level inside. All right, so back inside the vehicle, you want to go check out the display. And we left it on this display here. The warning sign might be originally on for a few seconds as the computer actually measures the DEF fluid again. In our case, the DEF fluid is a little bit more than half, so that's definitely a pretty big size reservoir in there. All right, guys, so thanks for checking out the video. If this is the first time checking out the channel, please consider subscribing for more time and money saving videos just like this. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and smash on that notification bell. So anytime I post a video that's aimed to help you guys out with saving a little bit of time, saving a little bit of money, you're going to be notified about it. Again, have a great day and thank you for watching. And let me know if you guys have any comments and questions about these Mercedes Sprinter diesels. And if you guys want me to go ahead and record any of the repairs as I get into this vehicle. And it could be something as simple as oil change to the front brakes. So go ahead and leave it in the comments below. You know, if you guys have any comments, hit the subscribe button. And I really appreciate your continued support.